What is up, beautiful people? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a collective reading for anybody and everybody who decides to click on this video. Let's go ahead and take a deep breath together. Inhale. And exhale. Thank you. Okay, the reading is going to be, it was worth the wait. I kept hearing this message, it was worth the wait. It was worth the wait. And Spirit wants me to deliver this message from the future tense, from your higher self's perspective because some of you are waiting for something and it's right here. It's coming in very soon and Spirit's saying you don't have to wait any longer. It's already happened. So they're asking you to change your perspective from waiting for it to already having it, if that makes sense. So instead of it will be worth the wait, it was worth the wait because it already happened. If it's going to happen, it has already happened before. That's why we're able to predict the future because we are having personal experiences, but no experience is 100% personal. We've all been through something similar, right? Just at a different capacity, in a different environment, in a different way, with different circumstances, right? But what Spirit is saying is that if it's going to happen, it has already happened. So Spirit is saying it was worth the wait. And your higher self is telling me that it was worth the wait. For some of you, this is about love. For some of you, this is about like a relationship. It was worth the wait. Finally, I have love in my life. Finally, I have a committed partner in my life because I have been patient, because I have been working on myself, because I have been waiting for the right energy, the right opportunity, because I have not settled. Your higher self is saying it was worth the wait. For some of you, this is about money, career, job, and Sphere is saying it was worth the wait. Your, your higher self is saying it was worth the wait for the right job opportunity to come along, for the right situation to come along that suited you, your family's needs, your friend's needs, that was the right amount of money that you wanted, that was everything you asked for in a dream career, in a dream job, or this amount of money, this amount of money, right? So Sphere is saying it was worth the wait. There's this big message here of like not settling. You're not the type to settle, so don't settle now. And I'm hearing when the tough, when the... When the going gets tough, the tough get going, and you're a part of the tough that got going, or you're a part of the tough that are getting going, right? Take this how it resonates, because I am reading it from a future self, higher self perspective, but this could be present, past, or future for you, right? Only you will know. So use your discernment, always. Okay. And then for some of you, this could be about, like, a home, um, or the sense of security, or something with yourself as well, and your higher self is saying it was worth the wait. So let's find out exactly what the cards are saying for you. I'm hearing it's just a simple switch, just a quick switch of words. Instead of it will be worth the wait, because I'm hearing a lot of you have been using affirmations and the affirmations are working and the affirmations are reaching where they need to reach. They're getting you to where you need to be. The only thing is, once you are that affirmation, you no longer need to keep using the affirmation. So instead of I will be, I already was. It already happened. Does this make sense? Spirit's asking you to switch the words a little bit. So instead of it will be worth the wait, it was worth the wait because it has already happened. 333 three, three on the timer. So that number could be specific as well. I'm also seeing the color red. You could be wearing red today or red for root chakra. Maybe you're working on your root chakra, feeling secure, feeling safe, feeling grounded and at home and at peace within yourself. You could be working with the crystal carnelian or rose quartz as well. I just heard jade. Some of you are looking for a crystal recommendation. Carnelian, jade, rose quartz. If it is your first crystal, I always recommend clear quartz. Feel free to Google them for what they do for you, whichever one you feel called to, or if you want to pick up all of them, go for it. But I'm hearing that some of you are getting into crystals or you're using crystals again or something like this. I'm hearing be intentional, be intentional. Be intentional with your words, be intentional with your actions, be intentional with the crystals that you use, be intentional with your money, okay? Let's see, it will be worth the wait, has turned to it was worth the wait. So tell me about this, please, Spirit. What are they going through right now? Or what did they go through in the past? The Six of Swords. Some of you were asked to move. 
some of you were you were asked to leave something to leave a situation to leave a job to leave an environment to leave a house something like this and you had to trust your intuition you had to trust your spirit team you had to trust the universe that you were being led somewhere you had to trust that it was all going to work out for you and it is and it already has worked out for you so if you're feeling apprehensive or nervous or scared or worried please find comfort in knowing that it has already worked out for you there is a timeline that exists where it has already worked out for you because it always works out for you everything always works out if it hasn't worked out it isn't the end right so spirit is saying to me that in the past you had to leave something you had to leave something behind or you just had to leave something and you had to trust in the universe let's see what you're going through currently present energy is the lovers in the reverse feeling conflicted a lot of indecision energy as well as where you're at in the present moment it's almost like you're being guided to believe it before you see it and you're being guided to trust that you made the right decision the thing is nobody can prove to you that it was the right decision nobody can prove to you anything you have to prove to yourself that it was the right decision i'm getting like right now you're working on self-trust self-belief this whole lesson has been about trusting your intuition and trusting the universe. A lot of you have been taught or you're being taught how to trust, how to have tr faith and trust in something or in someone. Because wherever you were before, there was no trust. That relationship before, there wasn't trust. Those friendships before, there wasn't trust. You didn't feel safe and you didn't feel like you could trust them. And so now in your present reality, things may not look the way that you want them to. I'm gonna clarify this energy, but I can just feel it from the cards. With the lovers in the reverse, it feels like you're in this energy of like, did I make the right decision? Am I making the right decisions every day? Like, what is going on? That's the energy. It's kind of like confused. Like, what is going on? I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know why I'm here. I don't know what I'm doing. Like, what's going on? Why was I led here? Why was I led here? Right. And I'm hearing like, sharks can't swim backwards. So you know you can't go backward. Sharks or like marine life could be significant, like marine biology I just heard as well. 7-12 could be a specific date or number that you're seeing. July 12th could be significant. Um, I'm just getting like sharks can't swim backwards or they'll die. And there's this energy of like, you know you can't go back, but you're questioning yourself like, did I make the right decision? And that's why I'm doing this reading because Spirit told me to tell you that it was worth the wait. So you're still in this like waiting anticipatory phase like you're anticipating something but spirit's asking you what if it turns out better than you expected and your higher self is confirming to me that everything did turn out better than it expected better than you expected i'm hearing better than we expected even your higher self was shocked at the blessings that god brought into your life period claim this okay i feel this very strongly in my soul i just heard the last name or the name burno or bordeaux that could be specific for somebody. I'm also seeing like a map. Spirit is showing me a map. I'm seeing, I'm seeing France and somebody may have a lisp. I just picked that up. Like TH and S is hard for you. Um, but I'm getting something about a map. Tell me about this map. Maybe you're going to see a map as confirmation or maybe you were just looking at a map or some of you have been like, looking at maps you're learning internal navigation I see that there's been a lot of distractions I see that there's been a lot of delays and I see that there's been some hardships and there's been some endings in the past and even in the present right but I just keep hearing it was all worth the wait. It led me straight to you, or it led, it led me to where I was supposed to be. Internal navigation is coming through. Like, something here about learning to trust your intuition, learning to, yeah, confirmation, burp. Um, you're learning to trust your intuition, or you've been learning to trust your intuition this whole time, this whole lesson, this whole game, this whole experience has been about you learning how to trust your intuition and trust your inner voice, because your inner voice needs to be the loudest. Your inner voice is God's inner voice, if you believe that, but I'm getting like, you are the voice of God, God is your voice for some of you. 
and spirit is asking you to trust your inner voice. You've been guided to trust your inner voice. That's what's going on here. You didn't trust your inner voice before. You didn't trust your inner voice when you got here. Something like this. And that's what's leading to the disappointment and the feelings of feeling rejected and upset and scared. It's all stemming from doubting your own intuition. So, okay. Not to harp on that for too long because I know you know the lesson. I know you know the message now. It's like... I should have listened to myself first. I should have left that person when I was supposed to leave them. I should have left that job when I felt called to it. I should have done that. But should implies judgment. And you don't need to be so hard on yourself. But I see that there could be some like fear, some kind of like tears that have been shed because you don't feel like you've made the right decision right now. And you're kind of like, I can't go back. All I can do is keep going forward, but I'm scared. And that's why I did this message because spirit is saying it was worth it in the end. Yeah, look at that. This is the temperance card. This is your angels saying, we've got you. We've always got your back. We're always looking out for you. And sometimes you don't know what the plan is for you. We think we have a plan. We think we know what's going to happen next. And we think that we can prepare for six months from now. And we can script it all out and it's going to look this way. And for some people, it does work that way. But what I'm getting here is like, when man plans, God laughs. Because the divine has a different plan for you and the universe knows what's best for you so all you're being guided to do right now is to look back to your past self reflect on everything you've been going through the past six weeks because a lot has changed in the past six weeks for some of you um for some of you six months so reflect on the past six weeks or six months depending on what you feel called to what resonates with you and tap back into this energy that trusted before because you were on this same dock before you were in this same predicament before maybe years ago maybe months ago maybe weeks ago but or maybe in another lifetime you've been in this situation before that's why it all feels so familiar that's why you're struggling with this this situation of like repeating yourself and wanting to go backwards because it all feels very cyclical and so spirit's asking you to go back to whoever this was sitting on the dock that decided to take all of the swords out of their back out of their whatever and got on the ship didn't know where it was going, but got on the ship. And that's what Spirit's asking you to do, to get on the ship again, to get back to the energy of trusting your intuition again, because it led you here and you're here for a reason. It may just be unknown and that's what's scary. You don't know where, what's next. You don't know what's happening. You don't know where you're going, but it all looks very promising here to me. I'm seeing the, the, the temperance card, which is all about divine timing and it's spirit confirming to me that it was all worth the wait. That's in your future energy. And then we're seeing the three of cups as well, which represents celebration normally in the tarot. So spirit is saying it was worth the wait. There's a huge celebration at the end of this tunnel. There's always been a light at the end of the tunnel. I feel like you're seeing it now or you're believing in it now. And that's what spirit's saying. You need to believe it before you can see it. I don't know why I'm getting this energy with this imagery, but I am. Spirit's asking you to believe in it before you see it, to believe that it already worked out for you, to believe that it already happened, to believe, and it's already done. What's the celebration? The Six of Wands. There's a lot of pride energy here. You're very proud of yourself in the future. You're being celebrated by your ancestors. So I'm getting something about ancestral abundance and breaking ancestral generational curses. That's what you've been going through. But you were the chosen one from your family, from your group, because they knew that you could do it. Because you were the one who was meant to do it, to break th these chains, to heal this karma for your family. Some of you don't give yourself enough credit and Spirit's asking you to really start giving yourself enough credit, to really start giving yourself the credit first, to really put yourself on the pedestal before you put anybody else on the pedestal. Because it does all work out for you in a very like celebratory, victorious way. It's like a big bang. You're creating your own little universe here. So that's what's coming for you in the near future, a big bang. And I'm hearing the big bang theory. 
the universe is created from some big bang, right? And so you're creating a big bang if you believe in that. I'm just hearing things and channeling, right? So take what resonates for you, but I'm getting like everything that you're going through or everything that you've been through, right? From your future perspective created your new universe. You're creating some kind of new world, some kind of new world order. And there's a lot more celebration and there's a lot more confidence and there's a lot more trust and faith and everything just works out for you. I'm hearing something about your face. You have a face, your face card never declines, or you have a face that gives something away or that doesn't give something away. I don't know what they're saying to me, but something about your face is going to be very important in the near future. Especially if you do something in the public eye, you could be gaining like a social media following or um, something about public recognition here. People are going to be recognizing your strength and recognizing your diligence and your patience. And I feel like the divine is showing you off because of all of your patience and all of your strength and all of your, all of the lessons that you've integrated as well. So the universe is going to be showing you off. Moths and butterflies could be really significant for you right now because you are going through some sort of transformation. The chariot card. And Spirit just keeps saying to me that it was all worth it. And the chariot card represents cancer energy. And we're in cancer season right now as I film this, but we're getting ready to wrap up cancer season. So this is what you've been going through with cancer season energy. This contradictory energy, this wishy-washy energy, this back and forth energy, this indecisive energy but it's finally coming to a close. It's finally coming to an end, okay? We do have Leo season in Western astrology, which I think starts on July 22nd. So July 22nd, you will definitely start to feel this energy subsiding and you'll be able to trust your intuition a lot more and there will be less of that wishy-washy, contradictory, emotional energy as well, okay? So remember, it was worth it. It was all worth it in the end. I hope that this video helped you. Sending you love as always. Take care of your beautiful self. Stay hydrated and I will catch you in the next video.